for another day, another dollar with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off. Uh, boosting a little bit this morning. Um, I'm about to pick up this first caviar order and then I'm gonna just boost it right down because it's going like down to the financial district. You really can't use the boosted boards for deliveries. Um, I mean, you can a little bit if you're jumping on and off the bus, but that only really works on certain deliveries. It doesn't work on majority of deliveries at all. But since this is the highest bonus, I thought, yo, let's go out and knock out a delivery, a caviar delivery, since I haven't did caviar deliveries in a minute. But yo, let's get this video started. Nice, just knocked out the first delivery. And I'm in the financial district now. There's another order that's like two, three blocks away. I'm gonna go pick that order up. That's the $17 order. This last order was like a $15 order. And then this order is gonna go over to like the mission district. So um, yeah, let's go pick this next item up and see how long this one takes. All right, yeah, with this next pickup now, and um, I've already come up with this idea. You know how sometimes you go to a restaurant and it takes like 10 minutes, it takes 15 minutes, and you can like sit down inside? That could be 10, 15 minutes, I could be charging my boosted board, right? So far, I'm on the second delivery, I'm, I'm at 60% battery, so I'm not going to be able to make it too much farther. Maybe I can do two deliveries, but if I would have brought a charger, I could be charging it up right now. Man, as long as I waited in that restaurant for this order, I probably could have charged the boosted board to like 120%. Just jumped off the Muni at the top of uh, Dolores Park, and I got a nice, nice hill to ride down to drop this delivery off. It's only going like one block down this hill. Just dropped that delivery off, and uh, looks like I'm going to jump on the Muni train and go over and pick up this next delivery and then that delivery is not going that far away and I should be able to just drop that one off and then head back to WeWork but before I go back to WeWork I need to go buy Office Max and get an external hard drive I got something to explain to you guys that's why I'm gonna go and buy an external hard drive really fast but um, I'm not too far away from this next pickup man picking up this next one right now so easy so easy but what about the booster board I am at Come on, come on, let me see. 41%, that's plenty of juice. All right, boosted board at 1% right now. We're up to 58 miles in four days. Not bad. Nice, I just got one of these. Four terabyte hard drive. I really, really, really need this. And I got this heavy boosted board that's dead. Nice, I got my new four terabyte hard drive here. And I'm really curious to see how fast I fill this thing up. I mean, let's see, if this thing lasts me six months, that's really good. I've already started to transfer data off of my computer onto that new hard drive, and I'm transferring about, I think, 90 gigs right now, so it's going to take about 15 minutes. I've already placed the order at the Falafel Squad, now I'm back down here to pick it up. Hopefully it's ready. Nice, I got about five minutes left. Oh, I wasn't transferring 90 gigs, I was transferring 84.93 gigs, quite a bit of gigs. I got a whole lot more gigs to transfer after this one. I'm about to go live stream instead of uploading a vlog. Yesterday I had a little problems with data, so that's why I went out and bought this today, an extra four terabytes of space, so I won't have that problem like I did yesterday. I had technical difficulties. Don't really want to talk about it, but I made one heck of a vlog yesterday, and that vlog is not uh, available for me to uh, share it with you guys. So it really, really sucks, but hopefully I won't have this problem. In the past, I've edited videos one particular way. I've pretty much mastered that particular way, but now I'm moving on to this more complex way of editing, and it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get the, the, the hang of this new way of editing, but I, I really wanna get more involved in it. Right now, it's taking me like two, three hours a day. And, you know, after maybe like a week or so, it'll probably, you know, take me an hour once I'm getting used to it. But it's just something, just a new way of editing. I'll talk more about it in the future, but I don't want to talk about it too much now because I'm about to do a little live stream action for you guys. So you guys can be like, yo, what happened to Jermaine? Did he get, did he die on his boosted board? What happened to him? So yeah, let's go live right now. Nice, just finish up with the live stream, just explain my mistakes. And now I'm off to that test for the gig. It's not that far away. Finally made it to this gig. Man, it was not easy boosting here because of the wind. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me now. It is insanely windy out right now. I'm waiting outside this restaurant. 
Yo, done with that TaskRabbit gig. Totally done with that TaskRabbit gig. You know, it wasn't that bad, but it, I, I thought it would be like two hours, but it was actually only one hour. And I'm out of there. It's freezing out there. I think I'm gonna head back down to WeWork while I have some time. I'm gonna head back down to WeWork. I don't know, skating over here, like it was so windy, the boosted board's like almost out of juice. But I must remember that I'm going downhill so I don't need as much juice because I'm gonna collect some juice along the way. Yo, back at WeWork now, just, you know, transferring some files on the computer, shooting a little video with Armando over here to say what's up. going? <laughs> uh, just accept another TaskRabbit gig. I'm about to run out of here once again. I gotta go pick up a tennis racket and go deliver it. What a random thing to go pick up a tennis racket, but yeah, I'm gonna go pick up this tennis racket really fast and then go deliver it and then we'll, we'll see what happens. But at least the boosted board has got a full charge. Next, we found the tennis shop. Just how to get in. Always an elevator action in this vlog. Just picked up this tennis racket and let's go uh, boost over and drop it off really fast. Such a random task going to buy a tennis racket, right? Whew. Yes, the night's almost over. Nice, just got back and man, today has been another adventure. Today has been another fun day. Hit the ground running, doing my thing, rocking out with the boosted board. I can't believe I'm actually making deliveries with the boosted board. Now the tennis racket, guys, it is so much fun to boost with a tennis racket in your hand because cars don't bother you. When they see that you have a tennis racket in your hand, they don't come up close to you. Like, they just don't. And other bikers, that's another thing I've noticed, like bikers will sometimes, they'll like do really annoying stuff, like they'll go like right in front of me and whenever I pass them, they'll just like work really, really hard and try to pass me. It's really annoying, I I've noticed it quite a bit. And it's even happened a couple times where like I'll just pull over and just let them go. And then they kind of like notice, they kind of look back like, oh, he stopped and then I'll take off again. I think bikers sometimes are kind of like, oh, you're on this expensive electric skateboard and uh, you're not working at all and we're pedaling up these hills and you're just, you know, easily coasting, boosting up a hill, you know. <laughs> But I don't know, It's it, the, the bikers are one thing, I'm not too tripped out about the bikers. I mean, I, I, if I if it all comes push on the shelf, I'll take my helmet off, you know, and get down and get dirty, you know what I mean? But anyway, I think I'm going to get ready to end this vlog. Today has been another awesome day. Um, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, yo.